Thanks for watching this video. You may be wondering what the future holds when it comes to technology. 110 years ago, the Wright brothers were conducting their first test flights, and who would have thought back then that we would have the Boeing 700 series in less than 100 years? Can you imagine what our individual and community technology, such as trains and airplanes, will look like in 10 years or 20 years, or even 100 years? In this video, we are looking at 5 predictions of new technology we expect to see in the next 20 years that can ruin the future of the human race. Don't forget to subscribe, like and turn on your notification. We begin with a new train technology that travels 3x faster than airplanes. In China, scientists and engineers have developed the prototype of a train that can travel 1,800 miles per hour, three times the speed of a commercial airplane. The train runs inside a vacuum tube so that it is unaffected by wind resistance. This is based on the megathermal superconducting maglev loop that engineers first tested in 2013. If the theoretical speeds are reached, you could travel from Paris to Moscow in an hour. The current model is a prototype. The prototype is small, only 12 meters in diameter. Still, it handles the initial problems of developing a ring line of high temperature superconducting, HTS, maglev vehicles that can accelerate to 15 miles per hour. As time progresses, scientists and engineers can move from a prototype to a fully functional system. The system could potentially lead to more accidents if it doesn't function as intended. Rather than decrease accidents, accidents could increase exponentially. During development and production, the engineers must ensure this doesn't happen. Otherwise, this technology can ruin the future of the human race. The next is that most vehicles will soon contain a version of vehicle-to-vehicle, -vehicle, V2V, communications that transmit information about speed, heading, brake status, and other important decision-making data from one vehicle to another. A research report from the U.S. Department of Transportation's, DOT, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, states that vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology will have the ability to wirelessly exchange information about the speed and position of surrounding vehicles which can help to avoid crashes, ease traffic congestion, and improve the environment. This wireless capability is similar to how your Wi-Fi works. The technology can employ visual, tactile, and audible alerts, or a combination of these alerts to warn drivers. These alerts allow drivers the ability to take action to avoid crashes. The U.S. Department of Transportation's, DOT, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, has been exploring the technology for over a decade. It has proposed rules for vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle crash avoidance systems. This means we are getting close to this technology being ubiquitous in all modern vehicles. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimates that vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle technology could prevent anywhere from 25,000 to 592,000 crashes and save roughly 50 to 1,083 lives per year. Vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle greatest benefits can only be achieved when all vehicles can communicate. This technology can be vulnerable to cybersecurity attacks, given hackers' vehicle control. If hackers get control, they can also malfunction the unit, leading to accidents. Great care must also be taken to ensure this doesn't happen. Otherwise, this technology can also ruin the future of the human race. Next is that humans, by 2035, will be able to upgrade their senses with implants that detect more signals such as radio waves and x-rays or nearby radiation. To accomplish this, neuronal implants or small computer chips will be inserted into the body and interact directly with the nervous systems. This technology may also be programmed to accomplish medical-related tasks. Medical science has proposed using this type of technology for an artificial pancreas. This technology will be capable of regulating someone's blood sugar levels and adjusting the level of insulin needed accordingly. This is achieved with the help of a high-tech gel. This technology can also enable the fielding of thought-controlled legs. Robotic body parts aren't just confined to science fiction anymore. This device would attach itself to nerve endings in your leg, allowing freedom of movement purely, thanks to brain power. This technology has ethical issues. Could this technology lead to mind control? And how would privacy laws apply? These are among the questions that need to be addressed before this technology ruins the future of the human race. Would you allow someone to put computer chips in your body? Let us know in the comments. The next is genome editing. Genome editing or DNA cutting protein is a powerful technique that can quickly and precisely cut out a particular DNA sequence. Through the discovery of CRISPR, genome editing has been used to treat HIV. 
Scientists have used genome editing to cut out the DNA sequence of a particular human protein that HIV latches onto. There are still challenges before this technology can be widely used, such as ensuring the genome editing gets to the right cells. And how do you ensure the protein never excises where it shouldn't? However, this technology is promising. It could allow DNA to be edited to correct adult genes and cure diseases. It can also alter life-threatening mutations with accuracy. If the edits are not done correctly, this could ruin the future of the human race. I am sure no one wants to see a zombie in this street. The next is the complete genome sequencing of all animal species. The genome is the full set of genes or genetic material in a cell or organism. This technology currently exists, and as of 2022, genomic scientists have sequenced about 3,300 animal genomes. According to a recent study conducted by researchers at Washington State University, WSU, and Brigham Young University, BYU, only a fraction of the sequences are from invertebrate species. If you are wondering, invertebrates are a paraphyletic group of animals that neither possess nor develop a vertebral column, commonly known as a backbone or spine. According to the study's authors, this overlooks huge swathes of diversity and opportunity. This means that more work needs to be done. It is estimated that there are approximately 1.7 million animal species on the planet. Vertebrates account for 54% of all genome sequencing assemblies, representing only 3.9% of animal species. In contrast, the invertebrates of the arthropoda phylum, which includes insects and spiders, comprise only 34% of current datasets while representing 78.5% of all species. Our future humans will thank us if we get this done without hurting the animals in the process. These technologies come with many challenges being tackled today for a better tomorrow. If these technologies are matured with continuous research, the future of the human race will not be ruined by them. Instead, it will shine brighter and brighter. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe, like and turn on your notification for the next video.